Command syntax. Every time you run a command, you have the option and you have an argument. Command typically have the syntax like command, like as if you are running command, let's say ls. It's a listing command. The option is going to be the minus L or LTR, whatever we used, an argument if you are looking for a specific file. Now, what are the options? Again, it modifies the way that a command works. It usually consists of a hyphen or dash followed by a single letter. Sometimes some commands accept multiple options, which can usually be grouped together for a single hyphen. And what are the arguments? Most commands are used together with one or more arguments. Some commands assume a default argument if none is supplied, and arguments are optional for some commands and required by others. Let's look at our Linux machine, and I will explain you exactly how the command syntax works. So we are in this Linux machine. Again, the first thing you always have to do is find out who are you or how, which user are you logged in as. So you do who am I, you are yourself. Second thing, which directory you are in, you are in slash home and slash your user. This is your home directory. And by the way, every time you type CD, no matter which directory you are in, you're always going to come back to your home directory. Now, when I mean by command, so the first, when we run command ls in your directory, you will see all the directories and files it has without other details that you get. So when you use the option, so you do ls minus l, this will list everything that you have in your home directory and then it will also give you all the details whether it's a com whether it's a directory file size who owns it and all the bunch of stuff so you adding the option with it which is minus l so options can also be grouped with when i me meant the group is it means ls minus l and you could add another option to it which is t so you see the it will list all the contents of your directory by the time they were created then when you do another option with that ls minus ltr it will still give you the all the listing but it will list all the newest files or directories starting at the bottom and the oldest one from the top so that covers our ls as a command and then the our second one is the option which we use ls minus ltr and what do we mean by argument let's look at the argument again argument can be used to be more specific meaning let's say if you wanted to know just the file bart so you do ls minus l B A R T. This is going to only list the file BART. If you want to know the details about the file BART, uh, who owns it, what's the permission on it, you could just use that argument to list it. So now you have command, you have option, and you have argument. If you wanted to, let's say, delete uh, a directory, which is, by the way, the command to delete is rm remove minus f which is to remove without asking you whether we, they should um, delete it or not so you could just do move minus f and then let's say i wanted to remove seinfeld and when you hit enter it's going to say cannot remove seinfeld it's a directory so we have to use an option to remove it and to remove to remove a directory with an option it is so let's say if this time we take out f and we just do r so r is an option to remove a directory so when you hit enter it will remove the seinfeld and how do you validate that you do ls minus ltr and you're going to see in your listing seinfeld directory is gone 
and I want you to recreate it again as MKDIR Seinfeld. You do LS minus LTR, and there you go. This has at the bottom, it has your new directory Seinfeld. So, again, to wrap up this lesson, uh, we covered the command, the option, and the argument. And the best way to find out which options you have available with the command, you always run man, which is, stands for manual, and ls, which is the command. When you hit enter, it will give you uh, a user command, a manual, which will give you all the options. Like if you run minus a, it will ignore entry starting with dot. If you uppercase a, b, and C and so on and you could just hit space to go down and see other option keep hitting space keep hitting space keep hitting space and you see all the different options and by the time you get to the bottom and you cannot hit space anymore you could just hit Q to get your prompt back you could also run a man Alice hit enter and if you just wanted to view the first page without going any further, you could just simply quit out of it right away instead of just hitting space, space, and go to the end. So you hit Q. So this is uh, what primarily we covered in this lesson. Again, command, option, and argument.